How important was that win for you all after the last couple of weeks just to shake back, beat a good team, and uh, you know get some positive things going late in the season? I think it was extremely important. You know, um, it was a regular season game. A lot of times, you know, if you lose one, you say it's not as important. Because we lost two in a row, because we um, we need to uh, start playing well going to week 11. You know, I thought our guys stepped up. You know, we weren't unbelievably clean offensively in the second half, but I thought we played well in the first half. Defense played tremendous in the second half, and uh, you know we played extremely hard which was a key uh, tonight. And uh, we were able to make the big stop on a two-point conversion. And, um, you know, it was, it's important. It, it was important because it's, uh, it's, you, you want to always finish off the, uh, the regular season with a couple wins and, and get a little momentum going to the playoffs. Could you see positives throughout the week in the way that your guys were reacting to the circumstances? Could you, could you feel that they were, they were still ready to have this type of, of a performance with their backs against the wall in some spots and whatnot? I did. I thought we were going to play well. I knew Cameron was good offensively, so I know it would be a chore for our defense. You know, I thought offensively we came out and played extremely well in the first half. We made a few mistakes in the second half, a couple of busted assignments. If we fix that, you know, I think we have the ability to compete with anybody. But I, I, did, I did know we were going to come out and play extremely hard. How have you felt about Dom's continued development? Um, he, he made a lot of really good plays tonight where he was able to just not let guys get into his body, shed him before it even got to that and, and free up and still make a play even when they were sometimes putting two guys in his face. Um, he was in the middle of that line on the two point stop. The guy to his left came in the backfield and disrupted it. Um, so him and then the defensive front overall in some spots. You know, our defensive front's been playing extremely well. We lost a bunch of real good players and I thought they played well all year. And then, and then Dom's a freak. I mean, honestly, he's 6'6", 290 pounds, runs like a 4'7", 4'8", He's a guy that, um, Sky's the limit. He's a guy that one of them guys that's going to play, be a big time college football player and have a chance to move on and play at the, uh, the, the next level on Sunday. So we knew that he's starting to uh, come around and, and and reach his potential. But um, he's tremendous um, and he's been tremendous for us at these last few games. Getting through a, cu a couple of down weeks, how much confidence do you have in your team with the playoffs right around the corner? Do you do you still see as high a ceiling for this team as? As I mean, teams that come through Acadiana, the, the goal is always kind of the same at, at the end of it. How good can this team be if y'all continue to take care of y'all's business and, and clean up some of those miscues? I think we can play with anybody, you know. I mean, we, we played three good teams the last three weeks. You know, we uh, we got behind um, in week eight and nine. I mean, in week seven and eight against Curtis and Southside and uh, kind of put ourselves in a hole. We did a better job this week of staying in the game and getting the lead. Um, if we play well, uh, we have the opportunity to play with anybody.